right, so now we're going to start our non-objective art activity. Non-objective art differs from abstract art because abstract art, while although at first glance is not easily identifiable, it does have some identifiable objects or purpose to the art. Non-objective art differs from that because no matter what angle, no matter when it's pointed out, you will not see any identifiable figures, shapes, um, nothing that can be identified, such as a dragonfly, an arrow, a star, our 4-H logo. And that's how non-objective art differs from abstract art. So you're definitely not going to get any reality when you do this objective. So first things first, I'm just going to get this sponge brush a little bit wet. We're going to be using this in our activity. I don't want it to be soaked, but I do want it to be pretty wet. Then you're gonna take three markers of your choice, three colors. I chose the primary colors. You can base this off of your color wheel activity. Um, I chose red, blue, and yellow. And then you're gonna place your watercolor paper under your gallon size Ziploc baggie. That way you see how much space you need to color on the gallon bag. And then you're just gonna start coloring. We're gonna do three different sections. It doesn't have to be perfect and you'll see why in a minute. You can make any shape that you want. I'm going to do some triangles. You want to be careful to not get your markers to bleed into the other space. That way you don't ruin the tip of your markers. You'll see in a minute that that space will be filled once we place some water on it. So you don't have to get too technical with it. And you're going to do your final color. These are the colors that I'm using based on the color wheel. But if you have some favorite colors and you want to use those, this activity will still work. You do want to make sure that the colors you use are directly opposite or very close to opposite of the color wheel. Otherwise, you'll notice they will all blend together and it'll look like one big color of all the same colors. So you do want to have some variance in your color choices. So you did all that. And then you're going to take and you're going to move this up. Remember, we already got this sponge a little wet, so we're just going to refresh it. And we're going to wet our watercolor paper. You don't want to get it too soaked because then it will warp and it won't lay flat. So you just want to give it a good dusting of water. Alright, so now you're going to flip your gallon size baggie with your colors onto it on top of your watercolor paper. You're going to see immediately that the color starts to stick to it. And then you can start blending or shading with your fingers. This these colors. And then a really fun trick is that if you want them to dilute or bleed a little bit more, you can take your watercolor sponge, you can drop 
few drops of water on there. You'll notice it'll thin it out. You can kind of play with it and have fun with it. Use your fingers. You could use the other side of the brush if you don't want to use your fingers, but. And then what you'll notice if you use primary colors is that you'll start to notice those intermediate colors on the edges. Those secondary colors will start to form because you started with those primary colors as a base. So see, you can see yellow and, or yellow and blue make green. You see over here, you might start to get some purple come up with this red and blue. Get a little red orange in here. All kinds of fun things. So for the grand finale, you will lift up your gallon size baggie and voila, you have a really awesome piece of non-objective art. You could totally frame this and give it to your parents or your loved ones if you wanted to. If you want to smooth out those edges, you can just take the palm of your hand, get your brush a little less damp, and just take that and smooth that right onto your scrap paper. Same thing with the other side. You can clean your brush. Make sure there's none of that marker on it and then edge out that other side there you go you're done with this activity